Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sahil Agarwal. I've just completed my B.Tech in Computer Science from IIT Gandhi Nagar. I'm also going to join D. Shaw as a software developer in a few weeks. This channel is a world of placements and internships. It is a world of how you can prepare a DSA, design your resume, make good projects, and how you can ace any technical interview. I have been a lover of computer programming, so definitely you will see a lot of videos based on computer programming on this channel and trust me they will be like gems for you i'm an iitn too so stay tuned for some insightful discussions around iit around college life and around engineering this channel is completely raw so if you will see my previous videos you will understand that all my videos are crisp to the point i don't talk any rubbish things and with each and every video you will go to some another level either in your preparation or in your mindset some of you guys will be having your internship and placement season starting from august or july so welcome to the world of internships and placements now you would be thinking that is internship and placement only a game of skill or luck does play a crucial role today we will deep dive to uncover this truth and trust me after watching this video the way you will look at your career will definitely change in this video i'm not going to tell you that it is only your hard work which leads to success or it is only luck which leads to success i am going to tell you the reality i will tell my and some of my friends experiences with you based on those experiences you will actually know the reality that how much does skill play a role and how much does luck play a role so let's deep dive into my story to understand how much does luck play a role in getting internships and placements so i had already solved 1000 plus problems on different platforms like code forces lead code and geeks for geeks before the internship season of my college started disha was the first company which came and we already knew that disha is going to be the first company which is going to come we were very excited for it and at the same time were quite nervous also uh, because we were thinking that if we don't get the internship at disha then what etc etc right the coding round happened and they gave us three coding questions to solve and i was able to solve two of them i was shortlisted i guess anyone who was able to solve two or more than two questions was shortlisted for the interview rounds i would say that cracking that coding round was purely based on my skill it was purely my hard work of solving 1000 plus problems on code forces lead code and geeks for geeks my typing speed back then was 100 words per minute which again is pure hard work because i had spent hours and hours for practicing touch typing i had spent 6 to 7 months practicing questions on code forces giving more than 50 plus contests which helped me a lot during uh, the coding round of dshow because when you give more and more contests you understand how to handle pressure how to solve questions in a stipulated amount of time which is the case in actual coding round so that helped me a lot but this was all hard work and the skill which i was able to develop i was literally able to solve the first two questions in just 20 minutes i was not able to solve the third question that is a different story but to solve the first two questions in just 20 minutes i guess is quite quick and that was pure skill pure hard work so sorry to interrupt you guys but apart from dsa some core cc subjects are also very important when it comes to coding interviews one such subject is object oriented programming which is very very important and many questions are asked in the coding interviews that is why i have come up with my own oops course in the language c++ the link is in the description you can check it out already 31 students have enrolled in the course and are enjoying the content you can also be the next one if you want to learn every oop concept in detail and strengthen your oops knowledge go check out the link in the description and do enroll if you like the content let's get back to the video now after clearing the coding round it was time for the technical interviews so they conducted two technical rounds i had my first interview next day and the previous night i was just going through my dsa notepad so in many of my videos i've talked about this dsa notepad that why it is so important to make a notepad and revise dsa questions you can watch this video here and it will help you a lot so i was just going through my dsa notepad and i encountered this problem which was called as jump game back then i was not comfortable with the logic of the jump game so i thought that okay let's read the code and i read the code and i thought that okay if this question comes up in the interview tomorrow i will just write the code i was not sure about the logic but i just uh, read the code once okay and you won't believe me that the next morning the first dsa question which was asked by the interviewer was 
jump game and obviously i was able to solve that question very easily because previous night i had revised that particular question and the second dsa question which they asked me was again a question which i had already solved so again it was very very easy for me to answer so now here if you see that it was purely a game of luck because i know some of my friends who were better than me were asked difficult questions in the interviews and obviously they were not able to solve those questions because difficult to answer questions in an interview because you don't have much time uh, and they were not able to solve and they did not get selected if the same question would have been asked to me i would also have not been able to solve that particular questions and i would not have landed at the isha so again the first interview i believe that it was a purely a game of luck because if the interviewer is asking you questions which you have already solved that is your luck right so this was the story of my first interview obviously i got selected for the second technical interview round and in the second technical interview they asked me one dsa question and one oops question which was way way difficult it was unseen to me but i was able to solve do both those questions and this time i will not say that i was lucky because both those questions were unseen to me they were completely new to me but i was able to solve them and why i was able to solve them that credit i will give to my preparation that credit i will give to my effort which i had put in in the previous 6 to 7 months doing a lot of questions on core forces lead coding geeks for geeks not missing a single contest giving a lot of contests in core forces and learning from them first interview round was purely based on luck and the second interview round i believe that was purely based on again skill so if you carefully observe that both luck and skill goes and in and many a times it happens that we have solved more than 500 more than 600 lead code problems and it happens that the interviewer asks a question which we had already solved at that moment of time we can say that okay luck favored us but sometimes it happens that despite solving so many questions the interviewer asks a difficult question which we have not seen and if we are not able to solve that particular question we feel that okay luck did not favor us and now we start comparing our interview with others and we say that okay that guy or that girl got an intern she were a placement because they were asked easy questions in their interviews and you start comparing yourself with them and say that okay if i would also have been given that same question i would have been able to answer that i would have also gotten that internship or a placement offer but if you carefully observe does that really help like there's no point in comparing yourself with others because their story is different your story is different everyone's story is different you can't compare yourself with others right but let me tell you one thing that luck always plays a crucial factor in anyone's life be it in any part of life do you choose your parents do you choose the family you were born in do you choose the financial state of your, of your parents no right some people are born privileged some are not this is life this will happen this happens with everyone and the same is the case with interviews we don't know what questions the interviewer is going to ask right some people will be asked easy questions some people will be asked difficult questions and that happens that will happen every time it is not in our control what is in our control is our preparation is our mindset is our ability to handle pressure is the number of questions which we solve so we should focus on that the more questions you solve the more you prepare the more you are increasing your chances of getting luckier because if you solve more and more number of questions there are more chances that the interviewer will ask you a question which you have already solved so increase your chances of getting lucky i hope you understand this that your focus should be solely on the process on the preparation without worrying too much about the result because the result is not in our hands it is never in our hands never do so much of hard work put in so much of effort that after one year you should feel proud of yourself for putting so much of hard work irrespective of the result i know that the latter part of this video became more of a motivational video but i think that in coding you need that when you're preparing for internships and placements it is very easy to get demotivated so a bit of motivation is always a good thing to have i hope that i have told you the reality and motivated you guys enough to work hard prepare well and not think too much about the results also if you find this video helpful do subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with all your friends it gives me a lot of motivation to make more for such videos that's it for this video i will meet you in the next one till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy